Hello, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be discussing the Italian failure of the First Italo-Ethiopian War. The Italo-Ethiopian War is one of the few times in history that a major European power lost to an indigenous African nation. This was a result of the Treaty of Wukali. This was a treaty between the nations of Italy and Ethiopia to promote friendship. Though the translation between the nations were messed up and caused confusion, Italy claimed Ethiopia was a protectorate of them. A protectorate is a nation that has some rights, but mainly dependent on the nation they are a protectorate of. Ethiopia's king disagreed and denounced the treaty. The war didn't start automatically, no. Italy annexed small villages around the Italian colony of Eritrea and the Ethiopian border. Though in December of 1894, the Italian forces started their military campaign. The Italians expected to recruit native people along the way, but most gave their loyalty to Emperor Manelik II of Ethiopia. Now is a good time to discuss the state of the militaries at that point. Estimates vary, but it's expected the Italians brought 18,000 to 20,000 men and had an estimated 56 artillery guns. They were also backed by the Triple Alliance of Germany and Austria. Now, the Ethiopian forces had very large numbers of men, but barely any equipment. The Ethiopian army consisted of around 196,000 men, though this isn't as impressive when you consider they only had 100,000 rifles to go around. This meant many of the Ethiopian troops used spears. Think of it like this. It's the middle of the day, and out of nowhere, the KGB busts through your door with automatic submachine guns. While you're over there in your corner, with a small bow and arrow, you bought out a medieval fair. In order to counter an Ethiopian attack, the Italians decided to attack the Ethiopian army at the Battle of Coet. The battle was an Italian victory, putting the Ethiopians into a rout. This allowed the Italians to capture more weapons. The Ethiopian emperor turned to the French for support, but the French turned them down, looking for an alliance with Italy instead. The next battle at Amba Alagi drove the Italians back to a fort called Mekli. The surrounded Italian forces surrendered after days of siege. Though Emperor Manilik took mercy on the men and allowed them to surrender and even withdraw without any harm being brought upon them. General Baratiri tried to avoid fighting the Ethiopian force, but the government of Italy wouldn't accept this. So General Baratiri marched his men into the Battle of Odoa, which I would consider one of the worst Italian defeats in modern history. Around 20,000 Italian troops with artillery guns were at the Battle of Ottawa. The Italians attacked early in the morning, expecting to catch the enemy while they were sleeping. Instead, they attacked during the church services, so the Ethiopians were ready. With the superior numbers, the Ethiopians had a major victory. The Italians lost 6,000 troops and 3,000 were taken prisoner, while another 1,500 were wounded. While the Ethiopians lost 4,500 men and 8,000 were wounded. Captured Italians were treated with respect, but the Ascaris who were captured were considered traitors and had their hand and foot cut off. The Treaty of Addis Ababa was signed on the 23rd of October, 1896. The treaty stated that Ethiopia would have defined borders and Italy would recognize their independence. Most Euro European nations were friendly to the Ethiopians, especially the French and Russians. In 1935, the Italians under Mussolini's rule conquered Ethiopia using tanks, mustard gas, and aircraft. This is one of the leading events that led up to World War II. Thank you for watching the video. I have plans to try and upload two videos a week, one on the weekend and one video. If you have any suggestions for the next topic, please put it in the comments below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.